That was the most bizarre run of boss rush there ever was. The start was the hardest part. Well, the end was no problem at all. Thanks for amazing round of Vampire Survivors. Beswick 249, I think. I don't know. I sort of lost control. Uh, the Mario. Oh, where can you go? Probably. You can't have done Neo Galga, right? I have completely lost track of everything right now. It's embarrassing. Well, granted, no one's basically watching at this point, so it doesn't matter. Still have no idea why that Mina video is doing so ridiculously out of well. Also... Neat. Alright, we're going Maximum Holy with Demario today. So we should not have any trouble with both Bible, Cross, and... Da, 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 show up now. You're not Santa Water. Oh, I forgot to unlock Toronto's box down at the bottom so it blends in with the other stuff. Anyway. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this, but I might as well do it again. But I play this on the Xbox Series X. I do not play it on Steam. I cannot play it on the Switch, and I can't play it on the PS5 just yet. Mostly because, well, when it, if I did have this on the computer, I wouldn't be able to do 4K. Well, I wanted 60, but apparently the game doesn't run at 60, so... Or want to record at 60, so... That's why it's not at 60. Anyway... I don't have it on Steam, but for those of you who do have it on Steam, well, you probably already know this already, but there is a new update in plan. Ponkle's cross account is getting really wacky, or perfectly normal, in other words, to hype it up. And that means the new update, well, let's just say new characters and I was talking about it a bit earlier but in spoiler stuff so just skip this section if you want to keep yourself waiting with beta breath even though I'm not going to get into specifics but there's new arcanas coming out the dog arcanas they look like the most broken things in the entire history of the genre I'm not even kidding it makes Sammy look Fine, insane by comparison. This isn't even hyperbole. The Discord agrees. Oh, hey, is this one marked lighter? No. I just some incidental light source there for some reason. Still have to go up. Is there any indication this path is even here besides it kind of looking like an arrow? And there's nothing on this side. Well, the more you learn. Yeah, since I'm not updating the tracker perfectly in line with what I'm posting, or, well, it is in line with what I'm posting, not with what I'm video recording. I don't know where I've left off, and I don't want to check the footage, because that would take time and effort. So that's why it's so loopy right now. Don't worry, once I get to the wave 4, it'll be back to normal. And frankly, it should be back to normal after this. This is once I get the 3 here done. Might not go for double trouble. Since I already have the rest of the week recorded. Back the day I'm recording this, I already have the video primed and scheduled instead of just doing it the last moment like I've been doing. Today I'm recording this is Thor's Day. No, seriously, I keep saying I'm going to look it up who names all the other ones. The other one I know is Fear. Or Frigg. Or 
for Friday. I don't know who does the other five. Not even sure if this is correct, and it's not just the sort of pop culture osmosis that one gets, like stormtroopers having bad aim. They don't. Is always kind of just the wackiest, you know? Eesh. Rapid fire is going hard. Yeah, I'm on banished tract orb. Oh, cross is not leveling up because a heaven sword is less holy than a Bible and a Santa water. Should it be nice now to grab all the chickens immediately when they spawn in? Alright, let's stand here until the dragon shows up. We'll move when an earthly stalker shows up. Good grief. Waking up at the same time for weeks now. Yet my body still can't adjust to going to sleep in the time it would require to wake up for a good eight hours. It just longs for the free time to do nothing. It longs for it. No idea why the boss spawns nine here, but I'm thankful for it. Oh, right. Super or starting with Thousand Edge. Okay, so, wait, can I go down this building too? No, no weird infinite corridor there. Kind of looks like you should be able to though. There we go. Unholy Vespers, it's time to buzzsaw some Atlanteans. Man, that speed is not great. Yep, no enter in that building. You know, and also Inverse New Galaga is getting its numbers reduced from like, what was it? Most well, can be random ones. It was like a 30% increase and now it's being reduced to like a 5% increase. That's why it got so nutty with the scaling later. And even those ridiculous 40k hits that Sheena was pulling off, I think it was Sheena anyway, couldn't take care of them in the end. Explosions. Oh, the base weapon is the Bible, so maybe Twilight Requiem. On the other hand, I want more Holy Cross. It's obviously the one that's not getting the biggest buff because it's not evolving. Now it clearly is. Oh yes, it's an armadillo up there, not something I'm in a particular need for. As soon as I take my hand off the controller, I know Stalker's gonna show up. The Mario is so slow. Wait, didn't I do, did I do Carlo Kart or, I think it was Carlo Kart, not Hectic Highway. But if I did do Hectic Highway, that means I've got new, Operation Guns done on him. Labora, Labora, it's time to put it to the test. Well, duration is obviously the most effective there. The power of the light compels you. Compels you to die. Man, that would sure would be nice to have. Probably actually like do something with those. 
at some point for the third wave. I mean, I got the Metaglio left, so might as well do one that... In fact, Mario would have been an amazing one with it. Because uh, he does have duration increase. Nope. Hmm. What was his other one? Still gonna grab awake just because... Well... Yeah. Hmm. Can I have put the DLC main stages as like their own separate thing? Don't want to die, don't want to lose progress. Awaken Demario to the true power of the word of the Lord. Alright, time to just fight some more Atlanteans and then chill out until Stalker shows up to ruin things. Twenty six K is not on target. Not on target at all. Hmm. So is it every inch of them that has hit detection? Oh look here, they sort of only do it near the da -da 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 feet area. More like shumpy action, schmumpy action. Toho and I'm acting like Toho has more. Spread. Fame. I mean, I don't think I ever saw Toho get promoted at a Dodgers game. That was wild. Even more wild that apparently the merch train lasted longer than the game. That's baseball. A baseball game. They're infamous for lasting for so long. That people drink beer just so they're not bored out of their mind. Yeah, occasionally there's good play. You can just watch that in the highlights reel. The blue sun compels you. There are like blue giants, right? They have a different combustible element making up their core for them to burn off of. White dwarf, brown giant, red giant. Or just bog standard yellow sun. Hmm. I knew someone was going to keep up, that's why I never took my hands off the controller. I got your figured out game. It really does kind of look like a red magus, doesn't it? Or maybe magus looks like that if it was ever actually in Contra. I want to know. Remember what stage one and like stage two look like, but anything else past that. Nope. Not at all. Well, I guess one of the stages looks like the background here, but not exactly something I got. Well, actually, I would have. Game Genie rules! Game Shark is a butt. It never worked. It never worked. No, no need to panic. They're not getting through the unholy vespers. The good word of the unholy. It means in theory I shouldn't have actually evolved it. 
heaven sword would have been more holy than the unholy vespers. Hey there, grenade. Oh, there was a boss. That was a boss I was shooting. I don't have much speed. Why is it shooting out so far? Do I have more speed? 70, so... Wait, why do I only have 20 area? I need to check the power-ups again. I'm really off their numbers. I don't think the Mario has negative area. That'd be odd. Taka 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 Liberty block Flippity bloom Kill them all Time to get some more chest in action Can we do it? Can we do it? I think I mean I should be able to get up there. Hey. Huh. I suppose that's one way to tell that it's a corridor like that. Anyway, time to go beat up Red Falcon's big fuzz. Oh wow, it even freezes the unholy vespers. Suppose that's the time if you ever want to see what it looks like. I don't think I can dodge these. The Mario's too slow. Ow. Oh, it goes around twice, huh? At least avoid the bomb. No, oh, wow, I didn't do enough damage. Well, that fixed itself right quickly. Level 100, 50,000 skulls garnered. The Lord compels thee, big fuzz. Be redeemed in the light. Ooh, the cross which is hands. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, rest in peace. Uh, labora, labora. Oh, guess they were knocking back everything so bad the Unholy Vespers couldn't do much. Neaterino. Hi, this is Mezzine around doing some more post commentary. Because as you just heard, the first section of this video with the Mario had voice audio again, but no stage audio. I do not know why. All three of these videos were recorded back to back. It makes no sense that this DeMario section and the Christine section both have the mic audio capture but no game audio, and this crotchy section you're watching has no mic audio or game audio. This is the most inexplicable thing that happened. And also, while trying to record this post audio, I realized that CapCut also did not have my correct mic selected, so that means the other time I did the voiceover post commentary to explain what happened, it didn't record. Wow, I do not notice anything. So this video is by far the most inexplicable thing I have recorded yet. I don't know what happened, it makes no sense. This is just giving me a big shrug and I made a giant post on Cross about it. Thanks for watching.
Okay, okay, time to end the sour pus. Sour pus. Yeah, sure, why not? Christine, and we're doing boss rash. This is sure to be a blast. Yep, that's right. It's Laurel Pentagram. The greatest combination known to Earth. Wait, the bosses spawn with KOs? Boy, I sure hope you don't wipe out everything. Oh no. Well. Ouch. Well, thankfully the next one will fire off faster because for some reason the first one doesn't get the benefit of Silent Old Sanctuary. I have to do this at some point. I'd rather do it now than under our other stipulations. I mean, could you imagine solo weapon here? Horrifying. Twice, really. Hey, I hit that. Oh, Laurel comes back instantly. And the ghost wave does more damage than anything else so far. Finally, some XP. Gotta try to do, avoid some of it. Oh, should have grabbed the clover. All right, a bit safer, a bit safer here. Could have gone out of bounds with it. No, oh. huh? Tag immune to instant kill. Wait, does that do damage to the light sources? Oh, there's luck again. Oh, are you kidding me? It blinded me. God, it's just nothing but issues today. Also, she is indeed immune to pentagram. All right, I beefed up all my luck and the chance, and it still is. Oh, huh, did the other? No, no, they're looped on top of each other. Why are skeletons doing so much damage? Who thinks skeleton and damage? I'm getting a ton of chicken luck, like cold oh, moly. Jim can't afford to get rid of that chest, so. Oh, that was so lucky. Hey, it's time to awaken to your destiny, Christine. Oh. Come on. 72 luck plus 45. That should be perfectly fine. Wait, there's XP over there. Good grief. In the end, it's going to be the clock lance that they get through this. Oh, 
Wait, what? What was that? My good grief, what is with the crazy walk? On the random events, at least. They're all immune. And you're even resistant to freeze. Or just moon does damage at least. No, it doesn't. Huh. Thought it did damage. I guess it's just an instant kill blast. Well, this is increasingly unfortunate. All that happened. Urgh. Um, Sarah Bondi. Oh, I should get that for healing. And that figures. Yeah, none of them are, they're all immune to instant death. At least the Reapers aren't. That's some benefit to me. Strangely, none of them dropped their dang chests. Well, this isn't problematic at all. Well, that's just going to loop endlessly. Yeah, it's doing damage to things that can instant kill. Okay, that's how it works. But if it's immune, then it's not going to do that. That was the most bizarre run of boss rush there ever was. The start was the hardest part. Well, the end was no problem at all. Oh, this is why it has to be ran on Bad Country for the super combo. It's just so you don't get any immune bosses going off. Yeah, that figures right as it gets to the worst part. Well, they get blasted. My level's so low. Well, that was a bizarre roller coaster of a ride, eh? She ends up at 86. All right, come on. Wait, it keeps... Oh, if you hit the button, it spawns in more Reapers. Uh... Hey, crap battle. There's no way that crabs are immune. Or Reaper. 
More crab. Hmm. I didn't think the cooldown would be low enough to become invulnerable like this. Well, what am I talking about? It's Christine. She gets maximum cooldown reduction. Even like this. No, I have to leave. But otherwise, uh, that's what six reapers. As expected. Well, at least in the end, I remember to record some audio. That's four ninety seven for Demario and Neo Galaga, four ninety eight for Crouchy and Carlo Kart, and four ninety nine for Christine on Boss Rash with audio. Yay, audio! And that leaves. 1,450, 1,456 more to go. Next episode, we'll have 500 stage character combinations done on the Bezip. Oh boy, oh boy. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Hopefully the audio helped with that. If you haven't, please like, dislike, comment, or subscribe. And if you have, thank you. Double time. Either way, I hope you have a good day and you keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.